Now let's understand master page concept. So in the program, I'm going to add a new project. In the solution, I'm going to add a new project again. Let's name this as a test master pages. The similar concept to that of ASP.NET master pages. Let me add an empty application first. And under the views, I'm going to add one folder, which is shared folder. You may know, you already know this folder called as shared. So if at all any controller, any uh, view, we want to be shared across controllers, we can very well have it in shared folder. A very standard folder for MVC. And then I'm going to add a new view here, which internally is of type master. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a new item directly, not a view. And then we have MVC4 master page. So MVC4 view master page with the extension ASP with for ASPX view. Let's have a name for this page as main.master. As you may notice, we have a directive called as master now, which inherits from view master page, which comes from system.web.mvc. We have everything else similar to ASP.NET. We have got content based holder here. We have got again content based holder. There's nothing in this content based holder. And somewhere at the top, I'll mention, uh, let's say H1. This is just to simulate. This is contained from master. Wherein you can place anything that you want, including menus, including any common headers that you would like to have. And then inside this main content based holder that we have, can we have multiple place holders? You can very well. So idea of the content based holder is right now main content. And then this is, I'll specify, this is header content or top content from the master. I'll specify this is bottom content from the master. And then we'll have maybe BR just to have a separation. Now in this main content, I would like to specify some content, but using a view now. So I'm going to go to controller. I'm going to add a home controller and I'm going to add a view here. That view will be index view with ASPX engine. But this time I'm going to specify the master page. And this time the master page I would like to refer is from a shared folder main master. So I specify create an index page which is dot ASPX use main.master as a master page and which is the main content based holder ID which is default right now for us is let's say main content. Now the time you add this you will suddenly see there is no HTML body, head, title, anything like that. We directly have page along with so called you can say dynamic as a, uh, a default model and one attribute in a page directory called as master page file which refers to main.master in itself. Now we have, we can say two content placeholders. holders. One was title content. We are not interested in setting the value at the top. We have got main content and I'm, I may specify now here that this is content from the child. And now I'm going to go and run this application. So default call will be given to home slash index. And suddenly on the screen, what you see is all the content. If you can see, this is the top content from the master, bottom content from the master and the content from the child itself. How will you go and access the value or how will you go and set the value for particular uh, data in main master itself? Can you do that? You can very well. If you wish to go and set up the value out here because master page maybe you can see common to multiple number of views. But if you wish to set the value for main content based holder also or any control uh, inside the master page, you can very well set that up. How do you do that? You may go and specify here itself, like suppose h3 uh, hi from child. I want to have a message over here, like hi from child, but the message should come from child page itself or controller itself. So for doing that, you may specify now person bracket equal to remember we had so called a collection called as view data. So we may specify child content and you may add any content or as many contents as you want. And from the home controller now, you may specify here that while we return the view, I may specify hi from index itself. And now when we run the code, you may observe 
home slash index comes up with high from index over here and this content directly goes after this is top from content master content so this is very easy to pass on the data from the child to the master can we also access data from the master into the child page one can very well get that data as you may know suppose uh, i do not have any kind of a uh, imagine a situation that we do not have a model for the view so far every time we try to access the data from the view we always access it either from the uri or either by specifying a model type for the view itself what if i don't have model what if i have everything which is dynamic right now imagine a situation we have got something like uh, suppose um, a table maybe a text box here input type equal to text let's specify the name for the you can say control now called as txt master and then we don't have any value right now but we want to collect the value on server side so whenever submission happens to the server side i want to collect this data let me also add one submit button somewhere in the code so maybe i will try to surround this by let's say a submit a form now so let's add a form tag action i'll not specify default action will be the action which basically gives you the page same action with the same name will be submitting the data and we'll specify here input type is equal to submit let's remove the name now and let's only click on the button now submit me now what should happen is on the server side after submission i'll have here index method i'll have closure i'll have http post over here and now i need to collect some data out here but this data is not a uri this data is not a model because i did not create any model as of now so how do we access the data then so one can very well collect with the uh, parameter type called as form collection so if i put a breakpoint now here maybe I'll, uh, for timing i'll return null from here and now if you run the code and if we hit a breakpoint on the ui we have this text box keep it in mind this text box has come from master page let's put any data over here let's say any data we have this submit button and the time you click on submit button it will by default come to our controller and inside the controller if you guys can see we have got base all keys and we have a key called as text master so if we go to now frm and if i say quick watch in the form if you say zeroth element what you get basically data which is called as any data so collecting data from the ui becomes too easy with the concept of you can say form collection so is it compulsory to have a model in uh, mvc absolutely no you may try continue using view data view bag and you can collect data using form collection and from ui any controls data you can collect with the help of form collection and same way we can collect data using a uh, form collection through master page as well so now uh, what we are going to do is we need to now use multiple master pages in the uh, application now nested master page concept remains as it is but however what we want to do now is we want to define master page or change the master page based on the demand so here is what i'm going to do i'm going to change the look and feel or put up something in the form that is maybe at the top in master page i specify one master and same content i'm going to copy now here and that i'm going to add a new master page now in the shared location let's name this as two master so let's add a new item again a master page let's name this as second dot master and i'm going to copy paste entire content one more time so everything remains the same only thing is i'm going to change the name of the master or head of the master i'll specify two master right now that's a thin difference that you have and everything else will remain same as is now in the index page if you see we have hard coded master page file name and that's 
so called main master by default so can i make a if if at all i run this code now by default it's giving you the content which are coming from one master if i change this to second master and if i refresh it what do you see is now now we have two master which means changes in the master page we can do using the master directive it's a master page file attribute itself but then after everything is done can we change this master page file content using a code imagine if it's saturday today in that case i would like to show one master if at all it's other than saturday i would like to show second master so can we do that job using code do you recall we discussed about a concept called as uh filter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to one apply a filter on this index method and how do we apply a kind of a filter on index method so i'm going to add one extra folder let's name this folder as helpers inside the helpers folder let's add one class let's name the class itself as so let me add a class now let's name this class as my filter and then let's inherit from like last time we inherited from so called action filter attribute class so action filter attribute class which will come from system.web.mpc and let's only override on result executing kind of a method and this my filter i'm going to go and apply on the index method now so this index method will uh, filter the content and will return the view to the end user so here we go whenever let's apply my filter first my filter will come from our own namespace called as helpers so whenever call goes to index method the call will first go to my filter on result executing and then uh, while result is under execution when the master page gets applied called as default master page as you can see default master page was for index was uh, shared this main master page and then we are going to simply change this based on the uh, some input to second master also but before i continue with that let me put a breakpoint into my filter on result executing so let's run this now give a call call will be given to home slash index <clears throat> then we are in filter context and as we discussed let's go to immediate window filter context as a view result we'll take it as result view or sorry view result it would be view result it would be and then with respect to view result when i say enter filter context dot result it should be yeah and then obviously there is no master page so it looks like uh, we are yet to get the master page so maybe this is not the event that i should override maybe on result executed is what i should override so i would say on result executed so let's put a breakpoint now because master page was yet to set again run the code so again we'll break into the application let's put up the same view result right now and we still don't have a view result maybe being applied right now let's see now that whether filter context is offering us the master page name so it's not applying master page name right now so let me go and check what's wrong with the code so the code is correct there is no problem in the code the only thing master page was yet to set so i am in result executing right now and let's go to immediate window wherein i clear everything first and then we'll write down the same code again so let me show you first what's the value of the current master page set i have removed the master page uh, value from the you can say uh, index page as you can see i have removed that master page file attribute from here now let's go back to code in the immediate window when i try to print the value for master page is blank right now can we set it up by ourselves let's try to set up the value now and we'll put up now main as a value here 
And now when I continue, you may find out that main master page or one master page appears on the screen. If I say enter one more time and using the same concept, if I change this to second master page now and say enter and if I say continue, you may find out now a sudden change that we have got now two master applied. So if we can do this using immediate window, why not copy that code and why not do the same using some condition. So imagine a situation that if today is let's say so and so day, if date time dot day or today is equal equals now today I want a day here so let's say a day of the week equal equals day of the week and if I check today is let's say uh, 9th of October so which is Friday if I say if today is Friday then I would set up a value for master page as a second master page and in else case I would set up same code but master page will be main master page so now if I run this code now without doing without putting a breakpoint see right now two master is applied if I change the date now for my application, change the date time and let's change the date now to a different date altogether. So change the date now and let's make it 10th of October now. Change this and now I'm going to go and refresh this. What you see is now we have one master applied. So again, I'll go back and make the, uh, we can say, reward the changes. It was 9th of October. Change it again and set time automatically, maybe yes. And then let me close this one again. So what you see is setting a master page on demand can be easily done with the help of filter itself. Like we discussed earlier, we have done it now with respect to um, ASPX views and ASPX master.